Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. Welcome back to my channel. This is photo class number 261. As you can tell by the title, AI photography editing is here to stay. So first, before we get started, subscribe to my channel, please. Uh, give me a thumbs up and comment below or email me at blackandwhitephoto at aol.com and I'll answer all your photography related questions. All right. Uh, so why am I doing this? By the way, I'm right over here. Hello. Uh, I'm doing this because uh, just today, May 23rd, 2023, there was a very extensive news article on television about how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing photography as we know it. Well, there's nothing new at all about AI in photo editing. <clears throat> I've been using artificial intelligence in a photo editing software that I purchased called Luminar 4. There are other options out there. One is Photoshop by Adobe, and you pay monthly forever. Luminar 4 is different that you pay for it once, and you're done. The only thing you can buy are little packets of little effects if you want to, but not necessary. Okay, the photo on the screen is terrible. <laughs> so what what are you looking at? You're looking at a photo that I took this past winter for a client who's writing a book. It's a murder mystery. So that my assignment from this client was, please give me a photo that resembles kind of sort of the Bates Motel scary um, movie-like the house up on the hill where the mother and the son lived and I don't know there was a it's like a murder mystery type movie I don't really remember it that well but anyway they wanted a Bates Motel like photograph it's for a photograph for their book that they were writing all right so I took this photograph uh, on purpose in the winter with these branches that kind of a little creepy, right? The um, building is lit terribly. It's lit from behind. It was a strange overcast day. The lighting was coming in from uh, behind the building. Uh, the foreground you can see has a little bit of light coming on the grass. Okay, so I had to fix it up. I had to make it the way the client wanted. The client wanted this to be more eerie all right so you load it into luminar 4 uh by the way i'm not sponsored by them this is just my software that i purchase and i use every single day all right so your first screen here says essentials we'll get back to that you come over here all right just follow the cursor to this button that says creative click on creative and you go up to the very first one that says ai sky replacement now sky selection all right now it comes with these built-in skies uh that come with the program when you purchase it everything from blue sky to sunsets all right but if you go down here load custom skies there's a packet that i bought i don't know it was between 20 and 30 bucks i think i don't know but that's all they are and for that price for 20 30 dollars you get a packet with anywhere from four to 20 different uh, simulations. Okay, so I just loaded Sky Packet Final 18, Sunset Clouds. All right, so you see already how it made such a very big difference. Now with this uh, program, you can move the sky anywhere you want. In fact, you can click Flip Sky and you can have the clouds going a different way. 
you can bring the horizon all the way up. You can bring that horizon all the way down. The client wanted it down. Let's go a little bit more. You can blend the horizon, meaning uh, to make it softer, right? So it's a little too soft. Now, another thing I want to show you is with artificial intelligence, it's not perfect. Uh, if you look here in the tiny branches, you'll see this cobweb-like uh, artificial uh, thing that the computer, that artificial intelligence doesn't know what to do. So it just makes it uh, look like cobwebs. So there is a fix. You go to Sky Mobile, uh, <laughs> Sky Global over here, and you bring it from 30 to 100. And what it does is it does the best it can by getting rid of it. Now you'll see here, it's about 90% gone. Okay so that's that uh now we go back to this button here which is essentials and we go to light now with the light of course it's all about your exposure so let's see if we can bring up the shadows all right so we'll go over here to shadows and we'll open up the shadows a little bit okay now let's hit the exposure a little bit, making it a little brighter. That's good. All right. Now uh, let's give it a little smart contrast. Looks fine. Now this is artificial intelligent accent. Okay. It, it looks at the scene and it uh, figures what it will need. It sees that it's a little dark. Fine. This is artificial intelligence structure. All right, we'll go to 21. And what that does is it sharpens a few points that it thinks it needs sharpening. All right, we'll go to color, remove color cast. With that is, it's, it's like a little bit of, uh, removes a little bit of bleeding. All right, you can up the saturation a little bit. You can up the vibrance. A little bit and it's sort of coming together detail enhancer which is just a sharpening tool I go to sharpen 16 there and my experience over the years the best is to use small details to 18 make it nice and sharp landscape enhancer let's dehaze a little bit okay and we'll go back to light all right now we're looking at this all right, it's not too bad. Um, I guess what we could do is, if I remember how the client wanted it. All right, so we're in crop right now, okay? Uh, I think what they went with was a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which worked out fine for this picture because they didn't want the foreground. See that foreground right here? They didn't really want that. So, we got rid of that, which really makes this pop. Okay, so we'll click done. It's applying the crop. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, not too shabby. All right, uh, we can go back to light. And what I'd like to do is over here under advanced settings, there's sliders for black. I like to add about negative 11 black. Okay, and that looks good. I'm trying to recreate um, the file that the client actually purchased. All right, so that looks good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we will look at the, this is, so this is the after, right? And let's look at the before. Big, big difference. That's the before. And the after. So don't fear artificial intelligence. Don't fear Photoshopping or Luminar for photo editing. It 
will improve your photography tenfold. Uh, the client, my client, would never have purchased this photograph. They did purchase this photograph for Jeez. their book. That's one right, thing I guys. wanted to show you is this button down here. It's called black and white conversion. You guys that love black and white photography, convert this picture to a black and white. You click one button. Oh my goodness. Now it's a black and white AI photograph. All right, guys. Carmine from New York saying, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Goodbye from New York.